to automatically record the last 25 hours of mandatory parameters, a digital flight data recorder, DFDR, is fitted in the tail section of the aircraft. The data is stored on a tape contained in a fire and shockproof box, which is also fitted with an underwater locator beacon. The operation of the DFDR is automatic. On the overhead panel, a ground control push button switch located on the recorder panel enables the pilots to manually select the DFDR on when the aircraft is on the ground. We are at the gate with the parking brake selected on, informing you that the DFDR is energized. This light will automatically extinguish as soon as the first engine is started. This happens because the DFDR will revert to auto mode and will operate continuously until five minutes after all engines have been shut down. On the pedestal, a DFDR event push button can be used to set an event mark on the DFDR tape. If a fault occurs with the DFDR, an ECAM caution message will be generated. There are no ECAM actions for a DFDR fault. Now let's look at the Central Maintenance System, CMS. To assist in aircraft maintenance, various aircraft systems are monitored by an Aircraft Condition Monitoring System, or ACMS. The data is automatically printed out for various flight phases by the onboard printer located on the center pedestal. If required, the pilots can press an ACMS print push button located on the center pedestal to generate a pre-programmed report. This report will be printed out on ground by maintenance.